hello guys in this video i will show you how to check any email address is exist or not in real world so first of all i will show you some basic instruction what will be needed for it so less so carefully reading this note this process is not working in local environment because our internet service provider block our 25 port so this process is only working in any live server and your live server must be open 25 port so let's move step one open your terminal and log in your live server environment i already my i already opened my terminal and i already log in in my live server and my live server is in my live server 25 port is already open you connect in your live server using this command simply type ssh your username at the rate and ip address and then after first in install in your live server telnet telnet and dig and then after move step to find mx record of email id you want check using this command i will show you d m x i want to find mx record for gmail server so i type gmail server and enter look at here I will I will show here five MX record for Gmail server. This MX record I will use in verify email address. So it must be needed. Okay, let's now move on. Step three check any email id by telnet using this command telnet mx record string and port number here port number is 25 remember only 25 port is available for outgoing mail and check any email address is exist or not in real world so any other port is not working with not working for this process so simply type telnet and any mx record name gmail smpp google.com and 25 enter okay i am some mistake in my mx record string so i check it what is exactly google.com gmail Mm -hmm. 
google.com and then I'm going to Firefox. Okay, now I'm connected with Telnet and then after simply type this command e hello and any, any server name I use gmail.com and so here it is a response string response string code and then after simply this command mail from colon and your email id you want to use for outgoing mail gmail.com it's my real email so i use this and then after simply this command for this this is this step is very important because here you type uh, this email id you want to check is exist or not in real world so type this command or shift with you to here i write also my one real email so Okay, let's see here. I read this command and then after enter, I'll get this response. Okay, so this email ID is already exist. Okay, now I'm trying um, some fake ID. RCPT to okay, this is fake ID, so it is not exist anywhere. So I'm getting response false. Okay, check here. The email account that you tried you reach does not exist please try again so this type email address is not exist in real world okay guys this is uh, 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 I am checking this process by terminal but uh, how to implement this whole process in uh, PHP code so I will show you how to this whole process is implement in our code I using Laravel framework so I show you in Laravel first of all create one route web.php I already create because I I already create one route email checker and this route call home controllers index method so open app http and home controller and here writing here pass your view file name i have already created this view file in my resource folder view and here first of all i have extend my layout and then after i start section and then after i write simple html code I show you simply type local host. Okay. I not started my PHP environment, so giving this type error. So 
So first of all, I will start my PHP environment using this command localhost 800. And then after refresh this page, Okay, it is get route for uh, build a HTML4 and I have already created one post route for a email checker and this can for a check check our process our email is exist or not this route also called home controllers email checker function so now i am show you what i am doing exactly here first of all i have create one function email checker and this is validation string if our validation passed then after look at here this line is very important i already i already write a email checker class so i am using here by object so i am so so you this email checker class code First of all, you create this class in app email checker and namespace app use exception for uh, uh, if any error getting so it's throw throw exception and then after set uh, some limit initial set limit for maximum execution time it's zero. Uh, so this script execution time is unlimited set uh, memory limit 1288 MB and set time limit 0 so it execute unlimited time and then after create class image checker here is I create some public variable first is hello domain for uh, your domain name and mail from here your mail from mx and ip and then after i have created one constructor for uh, here set your live server ip and then after i create one class email checker and use this function here and pass here email id okay so this function is doing same thing which i had i have so in my terminal like this it's all process is doing here in this class but i write here it's all terminal functionality in php call first of all it's find mx record i saw my all class so you easily write your code look at here I am use here mail from and I am also use here rcpt it's a socket write okay let's back
if in case in result variable any exception so I have set here error message if result variable getting in one so I can set here success message and print here this email address is valid and go back our form if result very result variable getting false value uh, so I, I am set here one session variable error and give give this value this email address is not valid and go back our form in case in case any exception throw so I catch this exception in catch method and set here also one session variable and set here value error produce in verification and then after go back our email checker form I show here my email checker form so you exactly idea this is my email checker form but uh, remember this is my local environment so this code is not working I am I am insert here my real email address but it give me error this email address is not valid but actually this email address is valid so I have I am showing this whole process in my live server so I have been also also upload this whole code in my live server so I so in my live server so you exactly getting idea okay this is my live server code and I'm check here version 21 gmail.com it is my real email address so this email address is valid now I am writing a check email address and then after press check email is exist or not button so now it is getting me one error this email address is not valid so thank you guys for watching this video and don't sub subscribe my channel so thank you